I want you to do is picture these forces as if they're on an X and Y coordinate system. Right? So basically, if I draw this out, we're going to have one force going this way. And it's equal to 9.8 newtons, 30 degrees here. And the next one, coming down this way, also equal to 9.8 newtons, and you got 30 degrees there. So now, we should work with components. So, I'm going to draw the triangles on the outsides here. And so... This is 4.9, as is this. And then does anyone have these longer ones? 8.5, okay. The resultant would be found, you want to add all your x's. So that's going to be negative 4.9 plus negative 8.5 is negative 13.4. So you would come over 13.4 to the left for the x component, and then the y is 8.5 plus negative 4.9, which comes to 3.6. So then you would come up 3.6. And now your resultant is drawn there. And if you do the Pythagorean theorem, you get 13.87 newtons for your magnitude. And then if you find this angle right here, get 15 degrees. Right? Now that line that we just found, what do we call that line? What's the word for this? Resultant. resultant. Right. It's the hypotenuse, but it is a resultant. Now what we wanted to find was not the resultant. The goal of this problem is to find a different force, and that force needs to be exactly opposite the result. Right? Think about it. If it's a tug of war on this ring, right now the ring is being um, acted upon as if it's being pulled by a 13.87 newton force at 15 degrees. So you want to pull exactly opposite that. So you want to pull this way with the same force in equal to 13.87 newtons at 15 degrees right there. That line is given a name, or that force is given a name, it's called equilibrium. So that is the one force that you can apply to a system of forces that'll put the system in equilibrium. So I could even add, I could have 30 forces on here and find one equilibrium, right? I would just need to find the net force of those 30, then find the equilibrium. So that's all you do is find the resultant and then the opposite, exact opposite, 180 degree opposite is the equilibrium. 